All right, guys, check it out. Active German cockroaches crawling around everywhere behind this person's fridge. And this is a nice house, and this is a really nice fridge, but there is definitely an active German cockroach population. Believe it or not, this beautiful kitchen behind me actually has an active German cockroach infestation. So in today's video, I'm going to be treating it today. I'm going to show you exactly what happened in this situation, how these roaches came here, and how I'm going to be treating them as a professional. Let's go ahead and get started. German cockroaches always 100% of the time start their infestations in the kitchen. German cockroaches can infest other areas of your home like bathrooms or pantries or even a living room. The kitchen has three main things that the German cockroaches like. They like food, they like water, and they like shelter. So the kitchen obviously has food, obviously has water with the sink, dishwasher, the condensation pan on the back of the fridge, stuff like that. And it has tons and tons of hiding spots. Every single cabinet is a potential hiding spot for a cockroach. All the hinges, all the cracks between the microwave, between the cabinets, those are all places German cockroaches can hide. I'm going to be doing a few things today. I'm going to be putting out roach bait. This is magnetic roach bait by Nysis. I'm also going to be treating some areas with Nibor D plus IGR. So it has that IGR in there, and that's really the key to long-term elimination on these cockroaches. You want to spread the product throughout the roach colony. It's not a true colony like an ant or a termite colony, but they are extremely, extremely social. Enough talking, let me show you the roaches. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the active nesting sites that I've found, and then I'm going to show you how I'm doing the treatment. Flashlight on, always need a good flashlight, and then always start, when you're doing a cockroach infestation, start behind the fridge. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull the refrigerator out and I'm going to show you what's going on. You can also always look around the hinges on the fridge. This is a minor infestation, so I'm not seeing any roach activity, but I did just pull this out a second ago and saw some, so we're going to pull it out again. And I'm gonna show you what I found. All right guys, check it out. Active. German cockroaches crawling around everywhere behind this person's fridge. And this is a nice house, and this is a really nice fridge, but there is definitely an active German cockroach population. <laughs> One just jumped down, I don't know if you saw it. They're scurrying right now. These boogers are fast. All right, I smushed one for you. So I just smushed it and it's still crawling around. Okay, this is a German cockroach right here. This is a female, there's an egg sac in the back. One thing that makes German cockroaches so difficult to treat is that the females carry out. the egg sac, also called an uthica, right. with them throughout the whole gestational period, increasing the likelihood each individual baby cockroach survives. There are plenty, plenty of adults right here, crawling back and forth. More live ones there. So, yeah, basically, as I was saying, they love getting behind the refrigerator. So they hate the lights, guys. A lot of people think German cockroaches are nocturnal. They're not nocturnal per se. They just don't like the light. They like being hidden. They know that light means that they're exposed. They don't want to be exposed. They want to be hidden from predators. So immediately, those hot spots. what I'm going to do is take the Nibor D and spray those corners. Nibor D plus IGR comes with this super long attachment nozzle, which I love because it lets me get back into the tiny cracks where the roaches are always hiding. So I'm going to show you how I'm using it, for example. I don't know if you guys remember seeing some crawl back in here, but there's some kind of crack they're getting into. See that nozzle went in about an inch, but you basically just press it and it foams that whole area. It's foaming right now as we speak, just now starting to come out. A lot of times this will flush out roaches. Check out all the roaches that's flushing out. Definitely getting some coming out of the corners. There's an adult right there. See if we can get them to come out, yep. Oh yeah. I see some antennas coming out, see it? 
zoom out a little bit. Antennas, more roaches coming out. Oh guys, there's so many up here. The Nibor D is doing perfect right now, foaming and flushing. Foaming and flushing. Look at these guys. Wow, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't think any other product could do this right now, what this is doing to these roaches. Completely decimating their hiding spot. Look at all the roaches just flushed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lots and lots of roaches back there. And the great part is you open this cabinet and you can't see any of that foam. So it's all completely hidden. This is another perfect spot for the Nibor D. You can actually see an adult roach. It's a female with an Uthica. Check her out right there. She doesn't want to move, but that's her Uthica sticking out. <laughs> so I'm going to stick the Nibor D down under her there. Get the lighting set up, pull the trigger, watch her run. How many are in here? When treating a German cockroach infestation, it is very important to directly treat as many active harborage areas as possible. What I'm doing here is a thorough inspection plus treatment of the cracks and crevices around all of the cabinets. I love using Nibor D plus IGR around the microwave, especially when it's mounted in the cabinets like this. You can stick the nozzle way back behind the microwave into some of these crevices and really, really get this foam really far back in there where a normal spray or even a normal aerosol can couldn't do because there is nothing quite like having a nozzle this long. So I'm going to show you how to use the magnetic roach bait right now. And before we get started, I want to emphasize how important it is when you're using a roach bait on a German cockroach infestation to eliminate as many food sources around the kitchen as possible. This roach bait is going to work no matter if there is some food particles around or not, but it's going to be an uphill battle if your kitchen is completely messy all the time. The roaches, they're going to eat the magnetic roach bait, but they're also going to eat the cheeseburger crumbs, french fry crumbs on the ground, and the roaches that eat those are not going to be affected by the product, while the roaches that eat the magnetic roach bait are obviously going to be dead shortly after. So if I can get one message across during this video, it's that keep your kitchen as clean as clean as possible in order to speed up the process of eliminating a German cockroach infestation. You want to put this bait as close to the German cockroach populations as possible. We're going to put these in areas where you think they would find the bait. For example, these cabinets behind me, you need to open up the cabinets always go up. Don't put the roach bait just like on the ground of the cabinet here. Obviously a lot of times there's going to be like food or plates, which you're not going to be able to do that anyways, but that's not where the roaches are hiding. The roaches don't just sit here. They hide up in the corners. So get your roach bait, go to the top of the cabinets and squeeze out a very skinny, small line right down the edge just like that. It doesn't take much with this roach bait. You don't want to put big globs out. You want to make small dots, beads, or straight lines for the roaches to feed on. And it totally depends on how infested the home is. If it's a true bad infestation, I recommend doing a small line about an inch long at the top of every single cabinet. So here and here, and then right around the corner, another one here, and then right around the corner, another one here. And then continuing this way, same thing right here. Another one at the top corners right there and there. You need to not only do this on the top cabinets, but also the bottom cabinets and around appliances. Let me show you, for example, what I can do around the dishwasher here. You want to pull the dishwasher down so you can access some of these hiding spots where the roaches are hiding. There's actually a baby roach right there, right there. So try to get the roach bait up in the corners where they can access it. But check out all the droppings up in the corner right there. All those specks, those don't just come from nowhere. Those are cockroach droppings. 
And similarly, behind appliances like the refrigerator, you want to put the roach bait in the areas where the roaches are going to find it. Just right along the cracks right there, all it takes is just a skinny, skinny bead for them to find it. Let me show you exactly what it looks like after I apply. That is the magnetic roach bait bead of bait. Uh, it starts right here and goes until right there. I'm gonna put the roach bait around some of these cracks right here where I'm seeing the droppings. I'm seeing a lot of droppings around this tape. I'm gonna put some of the bait right around the tape right there, right up in there. Same thing up here, I'm seeing some droppings. So I'm sure you guys want to know exactly what happened here and why there are so many cockroaches in this person's kitchen. Well, here's the story. This is actually a short term rental property. Airbnb style. People come in, party over the weekend, and leave. When people come in and party, they don't really care about how dirty or clean the kitchen is. They leave this place in shambles. Of course, the management company comes in and cleans up everything as soon as possible, but inevitably, when people are just short-term renting a place, they don't care how messy the kitchen is. I mean, I don't blame them. If I was just at a house partying for a couple of days, I would probably leave the place dirty too. But weekends and weekends and weekends after people coming in, leaving the place dirty, crumbs getting under the dishwasher, under the fridge, leaving, leaving food out, the roaches have been able to infest, increase their population, and just yesterday at 10 o'clock at night, whenever the lights turned off, the roaches started coming out, the tenants that were staying here for the weekend called the management company furious that there were roaches infesting their kitchen. That's when they called me to come out. I took a closer look, pulled out the refrigerator, started digging around the cabinets, and it, in fact, they do have a German cockroach infestation. These roaches were feeding on the dirt that even just a couple days of tenants being messy per week left inside this house. So if that doesn't make you want to clean your kitchen, I don't know what will. Even just a couple days of being messy is enough to breed and harbor a cockroach infestation inside your house. So I'm just about finished up here. I'm going to continue treating some of these areas with the surface application, continue using the roach bait and Nibor D around the cracks and crevices, putting out glue boards, calling the management company and letting them know what I found. If you guys have any questions about what I did today, please just let me know, drop it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon. Peace.